This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're here today with Dave Johansson, Senior Vice President, Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Company, to discuss this organization's recent order of a pair of Dahman Multicats. Dave, to start, why was the decision to order these vessels at this time? As the largest dredging contractor in the U.S. and a marine operator, it's important to continually maintain and upgrade our fleet. Great Lakes has a history of innovation and design where we continually look for ways to improve our operating efficiencies and the safety of our crews. The multi-cats represent a piece of our current fleet improvement program where 12 new vessels are currently under contract with Conrad Shipyards. Why is the recently announced deal uh, for Conrad to build the Dahman multicast for Great Lakes Dredge and Dock significant from the Dahman perspective? Well, uh, interesting question, uh, and, and actually, uh, from, from our perspective, almost all construction projects that we have going on are relevant, of course, uh, as we're true shipbuilders uh, with a lot of passion for our products. Uh, but these multicats are especially relevant, uh, as they are the first of their kind in the United States, and we expect them to bring uh, increased efficiency and safety to a rapidly growing uh, dredging industry. So Dave, what specifically was it about the Dahman multi-cat design uh, that GLDD found particularly attractive? Now, Dahman has a history of building these unique multi-task vessels. Um, the model selected fit our operating requirements, including stability offshore, lifting, cape capacities, and a large open deck. Yeah, so the multi-cats are designed as uh, multifunctional tools for, uh, for maritime construction and dredging support. Uh, the barge-like hull shape uh, actually provides a lot of deck space for, for the uh, works on deck uh, and also enhances the stability that these vessels need for their lifting capabilities with their uh, massive deck cranes that will be placed on board. Uh, together with the Great Lakes team, uh, we ran all stability calculations to make sure that these vessels will be able to lift equipment from their dredges uh, according to the rules and regulations as set out by U.S. Coast Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, and we're hoping and expecting that these vessels will help Great Lakes to uh, bring uh, more efficiency and safety to their dredge support activities. How specifically does Great uh, GLDD plan to use the workboats and are the vessels being built for a specific project or type of project? Yeah, um, specifically, we'll be using the vessels as a multi-purpose dredge support vessel performing tasks such as anchor handling, slurry pipeline installations, dredge service and supply, plus towing. Um, these vessels are not built for a specific project, but multiple projects normally involving direct uh, pumping of dredge materials. Looking at these vessels specifically as they fit into the GLDD fleet, um, how specifically do you see them improving or enhancing your operations today and in the future? Yeah, for, for decades, dredging pipelines have been installed and maintained with an assortment of floating equipment such as derricks, anchor barges, tugboats, and pontoon tanks. The multicats will improve our operating efficiencies by eliminating the need for multiple vessels to to perform these tasks. More importantly, safety is a core value at Great Lakes. The multicats provide a step change on how we and the rest of the dredging operators perform work. The vessels provide a stable platform to conduct hose and pipeline operations secure, securely on deck, thereby reducing the risk of man overboards due to floating equipment transfers and current installation techniques using industry standard pontoon tanks. I know we just went over some of the technical specifications, but of vessels of this nature, what do you consider the top two or three technical specifications, features, or capabilities of the design that truly do make it stand out? Yeah, so what will truly make these multicats stand out is, is the concept itself. It will be uh, the deck equipment that they have on board, such as the, the winches and the deck cranes, the cargo winches, the stern rollers, because those will enable uh, Great Lakes to bring hoses and pipelines that they use in their dredging operations on board, secure them safely, and then do their operations safely and in an efficient manner, uh, safely on deck. Um, so I'm sure, as you know, diamond vessels are often built to a stock design with options for modifications or enhancements. 
Uh, does GLDD, do the GLDD multi-cats include any modifications to the standard design and will the, uh, the sister vessels be identical? Um, previously, diamond vessels were built internationally. Um, these are first of its kind US flag vessels requiring modifications to meet many regulatory bodies such as ABS load line, United States Coast Guard Subchapter M, Jones Act, and US Army Corps of Engineers requirements. Our internal team of mechanical engineers and naval architects collaborated with Domin and Conrad Shipyards to meet all regulatory requirements and also to improve the workability and safety of the vessels. Does Great Lakes have any operating experience on any other vessels built to a Domin design? Um, we have uh, experience on multiple international projects working with multi-cats um, in, in the past.